we're going to talk about gallstone pancreatitis, and that's pain that you get in your upper right side and sometimes um, in the middle of your belly. So I'm going to start off by drawing the, the belly, and there's a gallbladder that I'm drawing. The gallbladder is located within the liver, and that's the big green triangle. And the gallbladder is connected with a bunch of ducts, and here I'm drawing the pancreas. And so the gallbladder connects, the, the gallbladder has a duct that connects to the pancreas duct, and those two join and connect with the intestine. And so that's the stomach and the esophagus, that's the food tube. And the, when you um, eat food, so I'm drawing a slice of pizza there, the food then will go into your mouth, into your food tube, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and then the food then stimulates your gallbladder and your pancreas to release juice and bile to help digest the food. So then let's see what happens when you get gallstones. Gallstones are formed in the gallbladder and sometimes they get stuck in the ducts and that leads to dilation. That's what I'm drawing there. That dilation then will, will then lead to inflammation uh, because everything's blocked up um, and you get inflammation in your liver too. And you can also get inflammation in your pancreas and that's called pancreatitis. So next time you eat then, um, if you have, you're going to get another slice of pizza for example. That slice of pizza then is going to go into your mouth, down the food tube, your esophagus, um, into your stomach, small intestine, and then your gallbladder is going to try to release bile right there, and it, but it can't because it's stuck. All the um, gallstones are, getting, are making it stuck, are not letting the juice through, and the pancreas can't release its juice either. So what we need is some help, and the help is going to come from a surgeon. So the surgeon... I'm drawing the surgeon right here. What the surgeon's going to do is make do a surgery to take the gallbladder out. And it's going to, the surgeon's going to make a cut, and the cut then is going to remove the gallbladder. And so that's going to be great, but we still need some more relief of that blockage. And so another doctor called a gastroenterologist is going to be called in. Um, and that doctor has a, a scope, and that scope has a long tube with a camera at the tip. And so that camera then is introduced into the intestines. They find the blockage, and they're going to do a small little cut. That cut then is going to then allow the doctor to do a rotor rooter kind of mechanism to relieve the pressure. So all those stones are going to be able to come out. Those are all the stones there. So because now there's relief of the pressure, that then leads to a decrease in inflammation. And when there's decreased inflammation, you're going to feel a lot better. So now you have normal sized ducts, the pancreas is no, no longer inflamed, the liver is not inflamed anymore, and the doctors go away, and now you can eat without having any pain. And that's gallstone pancreatitis.